growing body of scientific evidence may support this hypothesis. Does the possibility that our planet is rare within the galaxy imply anything about its significance? Recently, astronomer Donald Brownlee considered this question in the best-selling book, Rare Earth, Why Complex Life is Uncommon in the Universe. There's a general feeling that, uh, that nature wants to make Earth-like planets and that naturally, that life will evolve on them and naturally evolve to something like, like us. And yet the conditions, the environmental conditions on a planet that would allow more complex creatures, similar to people, or plants and animals, is very rare. And so we wrote the book Rare Earth uh, to point out that the Earth is actually a rather special place. Brownlee contends that while relatively simple microbial life may thrive on planets throughout the universe, planets capable of sustaining complex life are exceedingly uncommon. Well, the entire universe is highly hostile to life. If you compare all the known places in, in the universe, none of them compare to Earth. We live in a very special environment that provides what we need, provides air, provides food, stable conditions, so that the Earth is almost like a giant organism where its systems are interacting in a way that allows animals to survive. But the real question is, you know, why did, why did this happen? Was it just a matter of luck or not? If you look at thousands of planets, only a small fraction of them, a very small fraction, will be truly Earth-like. So if we are very rare, we did win the, the cosmic lottery. So we're a lucky planet. We're just in a very fortunate place. When you consider chance as an explanation for a planet like Earth, you have to look at it in the context of the universe as a whole. While the odds appear astonishingly small that you'd get all the right ingredients to support complex life at this one place in the galaxy, you have to keep in mind that our galaxy is just one of perhaps 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe. Still, logically, I think you have to ask yourself, what if this convergence of factors didn't come about as the result of simply a cosmic lottery or a mere fluke or luck, but what if it's the result of some larger underlying purpose or design? And if the Earth does exist for a purpose, is there any way that we could tell?